Uh oh, bad news incoming. They are introducing more rockets in World War II. New M26 Pershing T99, the fireworks show is on. Um, they're releasing this because it's 4th of July here in America coming up, which means we like our fireworks, we like shooting rockets. And so they're like, I know, we'll release the Pershing with rockets. Stop, please, please before it's too late, Wargaming, stop releasing rockets in World War II. Now, the rockets aren't necessarily cancerous yet here in World War II. We just have the Calliope, and that tank isn't so cancerous, but it is good what you can do with that. But it's a start. I mean, look at Cold War. Cold War has just disintegrated. Cold War was decent when it was released. It, it wasn't good. It was kind of trash, but it felt more like... World War II. Um, then they start adding rockets, and then they start adding even more rockets, and then they start adding rockets that can't be seen, and zoom around the battlefield at 90 kilometers an hour. Like, it has just evolved into filth. World War II, we're hoping that doesn't happen, and so please, please, please stop. No more rockets. This is World War II. You have plenty of tanks. Look at the thing about World War II. You have a great template. You can just look at World Tanks PC. Like, okay, look at this. They introduced a new tank line. Why don't we do that? Let's introduce that same tank line because we actually have access to all those files because we are wargaming as well. So we can use those. Just throw it up the chain of command, get some permission, boom. Easy. But no, they decide they want to do things on their own and it's really, really bad. Um, gameplay tips. I love reading the gameplay tips of these rocket launchers or any tanks that wargaming say because they're absolutely wrong. Did you guys know I wrote a book? I didn't just write a book. I wrote and I published a book. Battle Star the Champion and the Hero. And here's the thing about this book. It is going away soon and will never be sold again. And I'm not talking a Wargaming Type 59 ordeal where like, oh yeah, it's going away and it's gonna come back. No, it's going away and it's never coming back again. Battle Star the Champion and the Hero did so well behind the scenes with critics and with film producers that we realized we wanted to uh, revise it and release an entire series with Delsar, the champion of the hero. This time, the title will be Delsar, Rise of Hope will be the first book. We are redoing the characters, we're redoing the world, redoing everything, and it's absolutely beautiful and coming together fantastically. When that second draft of this revision is done, this book is being taken down so that it will soon be replaced with Delsar, Rise of Hope. So if you want to get your hands on a book written by me that will one day disappear very soon and never come back, you can have your own exclusive early copy that is slightly embarrassing because it's my first attempt at writing a book. Now's your chance. Head over to Amazon, type in Delsar or type in Delsar book on Google. It'll pop right up and you can get it on Kindle, hardcover or paperback, whichever you choose. And it also supports the channel, helps the channel out. And if you want to leave a review on it, go ahead. We're up to 4.7 stars after 22 ratings, which is not too shabby. But that's it. Let's get back to this video. It's hilarious. Use its multiple weapon system to assist with reliable damage chains. Okay. This can load both gun and rocket separately. There's not a tank in the game that loads one, one independently than the other, other than the two gun systems. So like the SD2, where it loads one, then it loads the other, then it loads one, then it loads the other. Otherwise, when you have to switch your, your guns completely, um, it's always... It's always independent. But anyway, um, just one thing: your rocket pods are angled toward the center. When fired, the rockets will start from the side of the tank and travel toward the center of the aim po point, which is about 150 meters away. Okay, good to know. Use your rockets when you're 100% sure you'll hit the target. 100% sure? Then never fire your gun. I hate it when people use absolutes. 99. I would have put 99.9% .9 sure. But even when you're 99.9% .9 sure, <laughs> the point zero one says that uh, screw you because it's RNG. Anyway, pepper the enemy with your main gun and time your reload with your rockets. Focus on dealing damage equipment and commander skills to bring up the best of this tank. You should do that with basically every tank. Moving on. Characteristics. Don't care. It's a Pershing. Same gun. Bad DPM. Nice. Same mobility. Nice. Okay, how about the rocket? Let's see. 20 rounds a minute, 300 alpha, 72 pen, 6,000 damage per minute. I don't care that it has low penetration. That's disgusting. If you find tank sides, you find tanks rears, you just go bop, 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 uh, bop, four shots. That's why. 
Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Well, it's gonna be lower than that when you have equipment. By the way, to do 1,200 damage. Ladies and gentlemen, I am playing competitively again. I'm playing in competitive leagues, in fact. And Calamity Season 3 is kicking off July 15th, and it is the biggest World of Tanks competitive tournament here on console. It beats even the Wargaming run leagues, which means this is not run by Wargaming. It is run by the players. It is run by votes by players. All right, registration for this ends on July 14th, so make sure you register. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to play, if you want to play against me, if you want to play with me, if you want to have some fun. Uh, things like the Tehran, Artillery, and Avery are all banned from the league as voted for by players, and the formats are decided not by one person, but by the players. So again, get to vote. It's just good fun. You can't blame matchmaking. You can't blame your team. Well, I guess technically that would be the best time to blame your team. It is just slugfest, back and forth, best of nine, best of 11, best of 13. So you don't just go and have three game losing streak and you're out. No, no, no. You have a chance to come back. You have a chance to win and it's great fun. Uh, and if you don't have a team, just Join the Calamity Discord anyway, look for one, make one, get started, get registered, have some fun with me, have some fun with other fantastic tankers. 1,400, 14,000, 12,000, 9,000. Maybe we'll have a review on this, but we don't have the tank, so we can't really. So let's, let's, let's watch this instead. Wait a minute. The audio's gonna be off. Uh, because I have it delayed. For when I'm using my capture card, which I'm not right now, so there we go. Okay, let's get back to it. I can't go full screen. Unavailable? Okay. Learn more? I found out. Where can we get to arrive? Not even over your gun, quick reload, great penetration, and steady damage output. In other words, bad DPM. That's what that means, steady damage output means bad DPM. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna I mean, the effects look really cool. XMI, GM, Escalation Era Heavy Tank, another. Era 3, which goes 72 kilometers an hour. And has the same gun, and armor, and penetration as every other Era 3 tank. Let's find it. It's not here. <laughs> A balanced mix of armor, mobility, and firepower. Just like every Era 3 tank. Can you believe it? Wow, he shot that guy. Reliable 105 gun, providing a fall 36 fucking tanks. Oh, is that Era 2? Right, Escalation is Era 2, by bad. Cool. Well, I mean, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Go home. Leave. Um, I'm just... It, it's bad. It's, it's not good. I mean, they have an idea. Here, here it is. Let's take a look. Wow. Look at that. Just normal. Everything about it. Let's see how fast does it go. You ready? 72! Whoa! My mind is blown! It goes 72! How did I know? Guys, how did I know? How did I know that it went 72 kilometers an hour? Tell me. Like, what sorcery is this? What's it? Oh, what's this? Look at You lose alpha. But you gain penetration. That's actually a good thing. Wow. 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 What'd they say about the mobility on this thing? They had a mix of armor, mobility, and firepower. Not a mix as in a little bit of armor, a little bit of mobility, a little bit of firepower. No, no, no. They basically took the whole carton of eggs, the big vat of butter, and the huge conglomeration of flour and just mixed it all together. They didn't even use like tablespoons or anything like that. They just like, there you go, have bread. And uh, that's what they did. <laughs> it wasn't a balanced mix. Well, I guess balance being relative. Uh huh. My gosh. Guys, I'm a genius. 
I could make this game. You know what? We're gonna, guys, we're gonna release a new Cold War tank. We're, really? It's gonna be brand new, nothing like it. Um, it's gonna be unique. People are gonna buy it. They're gonna have so much fun because, like, yes, finally a new tank. And it's gonna be exactly like every other tank that's ever been released in the Cold War. Except, here's the catch. Yeah, what's the catch? This one doesn't have rockets. Oh, wow. But tell you what we'll do. What? Release one exactly like this with rockets. Oh, in fact, we'll release it with rockets, buff its alpha damage, buff its penetration, its DPM, move it up to era three. But here's the kicker, you ready? We keep it at 72 kilometers an hour. 72, wow, 72, my gosh. Can you believe that? I can't. I'm just rambling now, probably to pad the time so we can hit 10 minutes and have more money at this point. I feel like if Wargamer are gonna do this to me, then I'm gonna get money out of it. So, anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little bit of a news video. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you all later, everyone. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Tom.